Hey guys, uh, APM Scootering, uh, what's going on? Apologize, this is like the second time I'm making this video because something took a crap with the camera. So this is um, actually a, a little bit a departure from the carburetor, which I'll, I'll get back to. This is a, a, a video on LEDs, okay? So I just wanted to do a quick video on LEDs. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Um, so what I did was I pulled off the front cover, obviously, I had everything apart. I just want to give you a quick picture of the LEDs. Now this is um, on my uh, Zenon scooter, uh, it's a 2017 model. So it has two up top for the high beams, one on the bottom for the low beam. Okay, and I'm just going to go over some quick things with you. Um, a lot of people don't understand what LEDs really do other than they're brighter. But it's a light emitting diode and it uses uh, a lot less voltage to output about five to six times the amount of light as a traditional halogen light. And what I wanted to show you is on my scooter, um, if you kind of, I'm sorry, it's kind of daytime here so it's kind of hard to get. The, the scooter actually itself has the bulb name. So this is an HS1 bulb. Now, if you guys ever have taken or changed your headlights in your car, you know what these little tabs are, and it can be a pain in the ass to get out. But basically, all it is is a plug and play. Now, this is just a standard 12-volt LED. This does not have the actual um, cap bank or the stabilizer. Now, my low beam does, so I'm going to show you that. And while I'm talking to you guys, I, I want to let you understand something. Now, I've been in the auto motorsports industry for 27 years so I've dealt with a lot of HIDs and now LEDs and I've chosen to go with LEDs simply because I wasn't sure how the scooters 12 volt system is but since I have the Shariah battery it's probably pretty good but uh, and I mean that in the sense of changing out to an HID kit now I wanted to add that and I also wanted to explain to you the Kelvin scale so the Kelvin scale is a lighting scale. Now some of you guys might already know this, but you're not familiar with what Kelvin scale colors really mean. So the lower number on the Kelvin scale, let's say you have a light at 3000 Kelvin and you have a light at 8000 Kelvin. You would assume the 8000 Kelvin is a stronger output. You would be wrong. The 8,000 Kelvin, let's say, you know, when you see those kits, uh, would emit like a bluish light. Whereas the 3,000 is used on a lot of fog lights. It's almost a yellow light, but the intensity is a little more. Um, so most cars uh, that use HIDs or LEDs are going to stick around the five to 6,000 Kelvin, which is the bright white. Um, maybe a slight tint to it, but it's probably the most optimum output towards daylight output. I uh, hope you're following me on that. But I wanted to get that. A lot of people don't understand that. And they go, oh, I'm going to buy 8,000 Kelvin kit. You know, it's the best. Yeah, no, it turns blue. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> blue. Um, sorry, I'll just get like that because I've, I've dealt with a lot of youngsters over the years that bring these kits into me. And they want to put them in, and then when I stick them in, they're like, my headlights are blue. And that's also illegal. So, um, all right. So this is the main low beam. And you see the fan here. See it? I'm spinning it. So what that does is cool the actual bulb down. Um, this is an actual H7 LED bulb. Now, I use, I think it's MSZ. Uh, I have the box. I'll actually put a link because I really like these guys. Hey, when I link this stuff, by the way, it's because I use it. I don't link because it's just cool to link. I link because I use the products. Um, you know, some things, yeah, I, I might get a hit for, but I actually pay for this stuff. I don't get anything for free, at least not yet. I hope I do. But these are the original Zenon wires, okay? They came just like this. This is the H7 tail, right? Do you see that? It just plugs right in. Then down in here, if you take a look, this one was a nightmare. You actually had to unscrew 
the bracket like this in order to put the bulb in. Then you had to bend that around to hold the bulb down inside. So it was a little difficult, but it actually came with a cool little H7 adapter snapped right in. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the light is fairly, it's actually really affordable. I have to look when I send your link up. Uh, the link up to, to tell you what, what it actually cost. I think it was really cheap. Um, well, not too cheap, but actually really affordable. Uh, I believe in getting <laughs> stuff that's worth buying. Some of it really cheap, cheesy stuff is horrible. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you my side markers, right? Or the actual park lights. If you take a look, you're going to see two little red uh, lights, light LEDs. Now, the LEDs do not write, light up red. It's the brand that I purchase, um, which I really, really like them. They're super bright. I'm going to give you a demo, but guys, I'm, it's, I was really impressed because the lighting on scooters sucks. And if you have a scooter with factory lighting, you know this. So I'm a fan of uh, LEDs. I have been since they came out, especially the better ones that, you, that I put in on, that I put on cars. Uh, they actually rival HIDs, that's for sure. Um, and I, I, let me give you a quick idea on the headlights, and then my wife can take you over to the side of the bike where the turn signals are, and she will get a picture of the turn signals. Um, I changed those too. I, I didn't think I would have to go through and show you how to change a light, so um, and I don't mean that as insulting. I think most of you guys that watch these videos are pretty smart. But basically, they're twist and turn bulbs, um, and they're right here on the side. So if you take a look, those things are crazy, crazy bright, um, which I will show you. Do you still have the packaging for that? What? The, when they came in. The original ones? No, the ones you bought. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, you should show that. Yeah, I will. Well, I'm going to post a link. Listen to my wife, the videographer. Oh, speaking of that, there'll be a surprise video coming up here. <laughs> My wife decided to go rogue on me. <laughs> She's laughing. So let me plug this in with one hand if I can. I believe I did. Now, let's show you this. All right. So when you're doing lights, there's something called a cutoff line, at least in cars. And there also is on really good motorcycles. And a cutoff line, it's daytime, so it's not going to be dramatic. Um, a cutoff line allows you not to blind oncoming traffic. So what I'm doing is, that is just these two side lights here. Do you want to focus in on the lights real quick? Let them see it. So they're just the running lights, right? Now, that's the turn signals. Stupid bright. I mean stupid bright. All right? So let me... Hopefully this thing starts up. I haven't started it. Jeez. All right. So, there is the light. Now, if my light turns around on the green door there, you're going to see the cutoff. Now this actually isn't even mounted, so the cutoff line looks a little weird. But when it's mounted, when the scooter's mounted, the actual front part of it, it'll give you a straight cutoff line. Alright? So, that's what I mean by cutoff line. Now if I turn the high beams on, you're going to see the high beams shine up high and then go ahead and show them though. So that's the highs, that's the lows. Now what I don't like is where we live, some, some of the roads are really dark. I'm going to put a relay on that when I flip the high beams on, the low stays on. I know, it's illegal, but oh well, I want to be able to see. So what I also want to show you is my wife's going to come around to the instrument cluster. Go around this one, just shine in on it. Sorry guys. Yeah, that's a carburetor. Now, I've changed the lights. Now it looks like I'm missing lights, but I'm not. They only include a couple LED spots. 
uh, and a couple spots that were the original um, the original halogen lights, which they suck. But as you can see, these things are bright as hell. Now, if I hit the turn signal, you look at the green light there, watch. Bright, crazy bright, right? Now, if I hit the high beam, super, super bright, right? Now, these bulbs are what they call T10s. Now, I'm going to shut this off for a second so I can turn the lights on and I don't have to keep kind of yelling over everything. But I'm going to show you the T10 bulbs that I use and I'm going to show you the original bulbs. All right. So these are the T10 bulbs that I use. Um, and it's okay if you touch them. You know, it's really not that bad. Unless you're soaking your hands in oil. Yes, your fingers have oil on them. But there's the there's the bayonet that goes down into the spot. And then here's your LEDs. Right? Now, you use T10 bulbs, which in the halogen world, halogen meaning old school lights with the wires, this is called a W5W. I think it should be listed on there, but I don't see it. But that's what it is. 12, 12 volts, 7 watts. Kind of cheesy. Um, and you guys who have scooters, which I'm assuming everybody does that watches this channel. Uh, actually, here they are. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. That was for my... Still the same bulb. 12 volts, 3 watts for the for the uh, lights that are uh, in the instrument cluster. That one that I pulled out, that is actually the uh, light for my um, license plate. So I'll show you something, another thing here real quick. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry I haven't posted any videos. Like I said, I've been having, I've been busy and then having issues with the carburetor, which I don't have anymore. And then I'm going to do a video on that with the tuning. But I didn't want to keep doing long, drawn out tuning videos until I figured out exactly what some of the issues were. I like to figure out everything. So if you take a look in here, yes, my tech flex, I love it. You're going to see the bulbs. So your turn signals, stop brake bulb so easy on a Zenon scooter they kind of just twist out right like that I don't want to pull them out on the way but there you go see and then they're bayonet style bulbs which if you guys know what that is there is a uh, and uh, if you look down in there you'll see it there's actually like a channel on the left and right side and then the two little balls from the light push down in and you twist it and then you have fun trying to stick that back in there. There you go. Now, once they go in, you line them up, and then you twist. Oops. And then you undo it again. There you go. There you go. They're 90 degrees on these. Oh. So the lights end up on the back being horizontal. Or on the park or on the turn signals, they're vertical. And then if you look up under here, look at my tail light or my see that guys? That's the T10 for the license plate light. I don't know if you saw my Pennsylvania thing, but whatever. Um, so that's how simple it is for those. I mean, and the honestly, the brightness is the same, super bright. Um, so I kind of wanted to just hit you guys up with a quick LED video and the ones I suggest or put on my um, you know on my on my YouTube uh, videos I, guys I actually buy them and I actually suggest them because they're good LEDs have a tendency to last for a really long time they're really good at bump resistance um, and their light outputs are superior they put less stress on the electrical system um, you know, and like I had mentioned, I think in way in my first video, that is what I do. I am uh, an electrical guy for cars now, and yes, motorsports and other stuff, but that's my mainstay. That's where I'm a master tech in. So, uh, and you know, getting pretty good on the scooter engine stuff too, but uh, I wanted to drop you guys a quick video on the LEDs because it's important to me for safety reasons and because LEDs look cool. 
So I'm going to cut the video at this. The next video I'm going to do is carburetor. Uh, I'm going to continue the PWK series, and I have some really good information and some tuning stuff for you guys. So, uh, And like I said, uh, I have a surprise video for you. So listen, have a great Saturday. Uh, I'm going to cut this video now, and I hope you guys are out riding. Uh, kind of sucks that I'm not. Hopefully I will be this afternoon doing a test run. So have a good day, good evening, good morning, wherever you're at, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.